step up in the club, I just let it snow Watch them hundred dollar bills, nigga, hit the flow I just let it snow, I just let it snow I just, I just, I just, I just, I just let it snow When I step up in the club, I just let it snow Watch them hundred dollar bills, nigga, hit the flow I just let it snow, I just let it snow Hey guys, so I have the angle turned um, vertical just for this clip, um, so don't mind that, but good morning, um, it's currently, what's today, it's Wednesday, Wednesday I just had my appointment at 11, my 38 week appointment, um, they didn't do a dilation check again, but they said at 39 weeks they're going to do a dilation check and they're going to do a membrane sweep um, so they can try to get things going. Um, the appointment went really well. Baby's doing really good. She's measuring perfectly a little bit ahead, but she's doing really good. I was telling her about the contractions that I was starting to get and she was just like, that's really good because, you know, that's your uterus getting ready. It's practicing, so that's good. Um, but I did let her know, like, listen, um... You know, I know she's she's full. She's fully developed now, and I don't want to do the induction if I don't have to. But because I start nursing school on January 11th, she's doing the 28th. I'm like, I don't want her to go. Like, if she wants to be stubborn, which I don't know, I got a small feeling that she's gonna try to be stubborn. I don't want to give birth at 41 weeks or 42 weeks because that's gonna be an issue with me in school and just trying to get my body. Like, it's gonna be too much. So. She said what she's going to do is she's going to do the membrane sweep on Monday at my 39-week appointment if I haven't gone into labor by then. Um, see if she can get things going. Um, told me things to do at home to try to get things going now. Um, and then they'll talk about scheduling an induction. Um, she said we can either schedule it at my for my 40-week on the 28th or a couple days after. So maybe like December 30th or something if the baby hasn't gotten here yet. She said she's even open to um, scheduling an induction for the week of the 39. So the 39 weeks. So sometime next week we could possibly schedule an induction to have her maybe the end of next week or something right before 40 weeks. So maybe around Christmas. I don't know. We're just trying to figure it out. Um, of course I want my body to go into labor naturally but she need to vacate. Okay. <laughs> it's time. I love my baby. My baby need to come on out. She's way too comfortable. She keep playing with me. She keep giving me these contractions every two to three minutes. As y'all saw, we take walks and tents for like an hour and then they stop completely like she's playing. At this point, she's playing. <laughs> and we can't play anymore. So, I'm going to, you know, me and Irene, we're going to talk about what date. And she also said it depends on the availability of the hospital and what they have. Um, that we can go ahead and schedule the induction. So, London will be here um, pretty much either next week sometime or a couple days after her due date, which is the 28th, maybe around the 30th or something. And then I start school on the 11th. So, I'm literally going to have like a week and a half to recover and kind of... Luckily, the first quarter or the first semester, a lot of it's virtual, so it's online. But I'm on I'm online and I'm working for I'm in school from like eight to four, one day a week, and then there's clinicals, twelve hour clinicals or labs, um, from six to six. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go into clinicals the first week. I think three weeks after we start doing clinicals at hospitals, but it's just gonna get crazy. And I just want her to be here. I want to have some quality time with my baby, like for at least a couple of weeks before school starts. You know, so that's why we're deciding to take this route. Of course, we're gonna do everything that we can to try to get her to come out naturally. So we're working on that. She was like, you need nipple stimulation. You guys, you need to be having sex. I was like, I don't wanna to be touched. I'm at this point where I just don't wanna to be touched. But she's like, okay, you gotta you gotta pick side. You either don't wanna to be touched or you want baby to come. Which one, which one? I'm like, okay, baby wins. Uh, <laughs> I told her, Ray, he's like, about to give me some backers. I'm like, boy, if you don't get up my face, oh my gosh so i don't know guys i'm trying to hang in there but i'm extremely uncomfortable irritable 
at this point and I just want my baby here so we can move on to the next phase okay I'm tired of being pregnant <laughs> I'm tired of being pregnant so anyways just want to give y'all that update I will keep y'all informed on what we decide to do just know that she's coming within the next week and a half um yeah because she's due in 12 days she's due <laughs> 13 12 yeah 12 days like so she'll be here sometime like next week or well, shortly after so anyway i'm heading to panera of course to get the green goddess smoothie for a rain and i and get some um food i think i'm gonna try one of my subscribers told me to try the squash soup because i always get the um broccoli cheddar soup but i think sorry y'all i'm out of breath you already know i'm out of breath i'm sorry um i'm gonna try the squash soup she said it was a little sweet i don't know i'm gonna try that and see how i like it and um i'm gonna go back i'm gonna move her bassinet into our room and the changing table i'm also gonna organize the inventory and get that set up He's gonna pack his bag because he has yet to pack his bag. Like, we just got a lot of things to do, just little things, but we should be we should be in the right moving in the right direction. So, anyway, I will get on here a little later and I'll touch base base with you guys. Um, if I haven't told you already, thank you guys so much for rocking with me and following me along this baby watch journey for Vlogmas. I know some days I post daily, some days I post every two days, but I combine days. It's just because this is unpredictable some days i'm not feeling well so i'm doing the best that i can but i appreciate all the love and support if you are new please subscribe turn on the bell turn on the notifications so you can be a part of the fam and the virtual aunties because i have so many of y'all out there and i appreciate y'all so much um and if you are og hey welcome back thank you for rocking with me thank you for hanging with me um anyway let me stop rambling i will talk to y'all later i'm going to try to go to ulta today as well so we shall see yes all right bye hey guys good morning today is thursday i just made some pancakes real quick with some fried chicken so we're having like I like chicken and waffles but a chicken and pancake mm -hmm. They miss you. Say hello. Because everybody's team Good Marine. morning. Of course. They're going to team Marine. Boy, bye. Yeah, I ain't saying? talking to you. Get off my camera. Okay. So anyway, we're just enjoying breakfast really quick. We just came back from our walk. We walk at 7.30, 7.35 every morning. Try to get her out. And, you know, she's still brewing. Just comfortable as can be. Anyway, we will get on here and we'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Bye. Wow, so I really was recording this entire time. Well, I thought I was and I wasn't recording. Like, what the heck? Uh, anyway, guys, so it's later in the afternoon. It's currently 4.45. I'm getting dinner prepared now because I'm starving. I have hunger pains every few hours now. Like, it's ridiculous. Um, I'm cooking ribeye steaks, um, loaded mash, um, baked potato, some sauteed onions, and then we got some broccoli steaming right now. As you guys can see, we got our steaks going right now on the grill. So I'm gonna let it do that. I like my medium well. I'm just so freaking hungry, y'all. Like, it's ridiculous. So, if I haven't said it already, happy Vlogmas. I know it hasn't been a lot going on, but I'm slowing down. I'm tired. She's doing like a week, week and a half. And she's just being stubborn. So we're pretty much just waiting right now. Um, so I'm just relaxing a lot, resting a lot, sleeping a lot, cleaning, tidying, just trying to get things in order before she comes. So it's not really much to show y'all. <laughs> if y'all just seeing my everyday situation, I just did the laundry. I got to put that up. Um, and yeah, so I'll get on here a little bit later um, if I end up doing anything. Probably not. Probably just going to eat, relax, watch more movies, and wait on baby girl. So if I don't get on here tonight or this evening, I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning. And keep y'all updated because we're going to get out the house. <laughs> anyway, alright, I'll talk to you later. Okay guys, so 
don't mind me i'm rocking in the corner we went ahead and moved the bassinet over here by the bed and i'm finally getting a rain to pack his hospital bag and i said i'm gonna sit here and watch him do it until it gets done so that's what he's currently doing finally thank you sweetheart you're welcome <laughs> goodness gracious y'all have been watching baby videos all day i'm just you know doing what i do nothing i need some pants like that hmm? i need some pjs like that Anyway, guys are simpler. So, are you going to pack like two or three outfits? Or what? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, guys. So, make sure you guys applaud him for finally packing a hospital bag. <laughs> when she's doing a week. Sheesh. And then we're going to put the car seat and stuff in the car. And he packing all this warm stuff like it's not going to be cold. <laughs> Oh, go show them the daddy um, sweatshirt that I got you. Because y'all seen my sweatshirt that's black and white. And it says um, Mama Life. Yeah, it says Mama Life. Um, and he was like, where's my sweatshirt? Where's my shirt? So I was like, mm, okay. So I'm getting him, or I got him the sweatshirt that says Daddy. Or what does it say? Dad Life? Or it says Dad. Let me show y'all something on the side yes on the back dad someone who always believes in you and always has the best jokes that's not true huh that's not true i mean <laughs> the best joke part you're talking about the best joke part? yeah well, probably <laughs> but isn't that cute guys look at the front it's so cute he gonna wear that home and i'm wearing my mama life in black and white home so yeah I got that for him, so he needs to pack that. We're just going with your black jeans. Yeah. So you gotta pack your shoes. Mm -hmm. You ready for this baby life, though? I know I keep asking you, I've but been ready. I've been it's ready. really about to I happen. Was born, I was born ready. Mm. Are you ready? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You better know, because she's coming. <laughs> she's coming. <laughs> So you better know. Yeah, guys. All right. So I'm just going to watch him pack. And then what are we going to do after this? What are we doing tonight? Nothing. Please, play some play cards. Some card game. That I whooped your ass the last man, time. Man, go. You better go on with that. You better go on with that, sir. <laughs> you won one game. Yeah, man. He killed me in that game. I'm glad I didn't catch that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> He just had all the draw fours, like he just kept tagging me, like just ugh. It was bad. Anyway, all right, so we'll get on here. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. So good night. Love you guys. Good night. Bye. Hi guys. Good morning. It is freezing cold in Florida. I think it's in the forties. It's Friday morning. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> he over there trying to stay warm. He got he got no <laughs> flip flops. It's cold. We taking our morning walk right now, and about to head back to the house because it is too freaking cold. Oh my goodness gracious! Anyway, we just want to get on here and say happy Vlogmas. Hope you guys as Vlogmas in December and Christmas month is going very well. And yeah, if we go somewhere. If I do something later, um, I'll get back on here. Right now, I'm just, of course, taking it easy, trying to get her out. She's still in here cooking. She don't want to come out here this cold. That's what it is. <laughs> but anyway, all right, y'all. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey, guys. I know I'm looking crazy, and it's okay. We're going to get cute later because we're going to go to dinner. Um, it's currently 1 o'clock. I'm about to get on the road because I need to go wash my car and I want to go to Ulta and Sephora and get a couple of things, which I'll get back on here and I'll show y'all what that is later. Um, so <sighs> I'm about to go do that. And oh yeah, guys, if you haven't seen this before, my coffee cup to go. So cute, so chic, 
so oh, i love this i'll link it down below um because y'all i gotta drink this to go i'm tired i feel a little tired today but we'll get through it but this is from joko j-o-c-o i got ordered these from amazon and they have different colors and different sizes freaking love this especially when i'm like editing and being productive i can put my tea and everything in here so i freaking love this um i love the glass cups anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get on the road and head to the store um and then i'll come back and get myself together <laughs> later <laughs> all right y'all okay guys so i'm currently at the car wash that i go to i'm getting my car clean kind of detailed not really it's like a 14 dollar car wash where they do the inside vacuum and everything and they do the outside so what i pretty much get all the time so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get this done and then i am going to head to ulta Just finished my car. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Oh, okay. Oh, oh yeah, they did good. Oh, nice and clean. Oh, let me put these on. Just bought these. I feel like ah! Okay. All right, so it's done. Ugh. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's <clears throat> for now. We're just gonna put these on here. All right. Looks good. That's done. Okay, guys. So that's done. Thank the Lord. That was pretty quick too, so I can't complain. So now we're about to head to Brandon. Oh, that smells good. They did a really good job. So I'm about to head to Brandon to go to All Sense of Sephora now. Ooh. Get what I need. Honestly, I haven't been at the house in so long. Except for daughter's appointment. <laughs> in the grocery store. Ooh, that smells good. I ain't gonna steal that. I already know.
Damn, my neck got black as hell. <laughs> we no baby at all today. Uh, I know. Oh do, my goodness. Do any day now. <laughs> I can tell, but you look beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I should go for the darker one, or this one has more of a red tone. y'all so i just left ulta Ooh, trying to do this when you're pregnant is a mess i don't know if i'm gonna go to um sephora i'll just next time we're out at the mall i'll pick up the um coconut when i'm gonna rain so he can buy it <laughs> i'm just playing no but i'm tired I feel like I'm leaking. Like I'm leaking stuff I want should not be leaking. <sighs> this lady was so helpful. She was so sweet. She was like, girl, you any day now. You about to pop. I'm like, yes, ma'am. She was so helpful though. She probably felt bad seeing me wobble all over the place like a hippo trying to get some makeup. Hurry up, sir. <sighs> anyway, I got a lot of stuff, so I'll get on here and I'll show you guys what I got when I get back to the house. I'm heading back home because it's too crowded right now, and I don't like that. I know it's the holidays, but I, mm -mm. <sighs> and I spent 188. <laughs> How does it happen? I don't know. I don't know. Lord, I don't know how that happens. Oh, I'm spending all my little money, child. My little money. But anyway, it's cool. He gave me money for it. Um, so I just every time, like I'm gonna get like a few things, and then I come out with twelve things, and then you know when she's swiping and that number just adding up, and you in front of a long line, you can't be like, okay, take this off, take that off. I'm just watching that number go up. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm in my head like, okay, I'm checking my bank account. I know I'm checking. I know I got this. <laughs> I'm just playing. I got. I, I put money aside for this, so I'm fine. I'm just being dramatic. I just think it's entirely too much for makeup, but, 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 the, no, sixty dollars of it. So I actually would have spent $120, which is around the amount that I was going to spend. But Arane is now addicted to my hemp lotions, which these are like $26 or 
each so they're very expensive but I love them so much and he was like you better get me a lotion and get me a different scent so I had to get two hemp lotions one for me one for him and he said he wants something sweet I said you want to smell sweet he's like yeah I was like okay so I got sweet pineapple and honey melon that one smells really good and then I got milk and honey that one smells really good too so I got these two and this was $60 right here so he gonna have to give me some more money that 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 was the bulk of it right there otherwise I would have did good but anyway I'm heading back I was gonna try to go into Marshalls or Raw mm -mm. I can't I can only do too much I'm doing any day now like I can't I can't I can't be out here in these streets and my water break that's not gonna be good I don't have time for that <sighs> so I'm gonna get off this fall. I'm gonna stop ranting and I'm gonna get home <sighs> yes I'm gonna get home and I'm gonna try my products guys the only thing I couldn't get Damn, that KKW lip, um, lip pencil be sold the hell out. Like, I was trying to get a number three. You know, because the only really brown that I use that I really love is the cork from MAC. The perfect brown. But I heard that number three KKW be hitting different. So, I mean, I'm going to have to just order that or something. Sir, what are you trying to do? You trying to get over or what? Anyway. All right, y'all. I will talk to you guys later. Okay, bye. Okay, guys, I am back home in my peaceful environment, away from the chaos. So I want to get on here real quick and do a Ulta haul and show you guys what I got today. So I already showed you guys the hemp. So this is the sweet pineapple and honey melon. They are 26 something, so they come to about $30. And he actually likes the milk and honey. Hmm. So we have the milk and honey one here as well. So we got two of those lotions. I got the Morphe um, Java Arch Obsessions Brow Kit. And this is actually really good for the price. I think this ranges for $18 and it comes with five things. So it comes with um, the micro brow pencil in Java, the brow cream gel, um, the brow setting gel, the highlighter stick, um and the angle liner spoolie brush so it has all five things in one great great deal um i also wanted to try one of juvia's places concealer this is in a way darker color because again i'm trying to find like more contours um my neck got black as hell so we got a man <laughs> i know that's gonna change after the baby after the baby comes but I got this in J3, um, so it's a, just like a darker concealer. I needed one for, um, they didn't have such a red undertone like my other one that I have in here from, is it from Maybelline? I don't know. Um, so I got this one, which I'll, sh I'll show you guys this on me later. Um, I got the tinted moisturizer from ColourPop that I was telling y'all about. The Pretty Fresh or, um, Hyaluronic Tinted Moisturizer, and I got it in Dark 20 in. So, I am going to try this to see how this works. I think this was like $14. So, that's a pretty good price. I got a Tarte um, concealer, Shape Tape concealer. I like that extra light highlight when, it, when it's paired with like a darker foundation to create that contour look. Um, so, I got this in a light medium sand, which is what I used before. I got another, now the foundation isn't this dark, y'all. I don't know why the box is darker, but I got a darker foundation. So I love my Clinique um, foundation, which I have. Um, here. Okay, I have this in the color Ginger. I freaking love this, but as y'all can see, this isn't going right now. Um, so I got another one. This is the Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer oil free um in the last 24 hours i love how it blends into my skin it's great and i got this one in the color mahogany so it's a darker shade i'm gonna pair this with the lighter concealers and i'm gonna see what we're looking like so the color is actually like this so it's not too dark it's not too bad from and again i wanted it a little bit darker so 
we're gonna try this I had to get some classic wispies. Although I have my lashes, I love my lashes. But sometimes if I want to do more of like a natural everyday look and I just want a little something but not too much, I always get these. Um, and this one has five pairs, Ardell. So I got these. I got a brush cleaner set. I needed one of these so I can clean my brushes because I need to do better about that. Um, so I got the cleaner too. It also comes with a little sample size of the cleaner and one of these little... um brush cleansing palette so I got one of these and then lastly I got another Morphe setting spray it's a continuous mist this is bomb I love it I ran out a while ago and I just haven't replenished it so I did went ahead and did that so yeah so here's all the stuff that I got and again it came to 188 and the $60 are from the two lotions alone so not bad when you take that away um so yeah i'll get on here a little bit later and i'll show you what i'm looking like okay we're gonna go get ourselves together today all right i love y'all so much i'll talk to y'all later thank y'all for hanging out with me um i'm saying it like i'm about to end the vlog i'm not but i'm just i'm just uh, lately i just been having a really grateful joyful heart it's something about slowing down, y'all. When y'all slow down, I'd be so, like, scared to stop working because I've always just been a go-getter and I always, like, just, like, money coming in. So when I had to slow down at first, it was very uncomfortable. But then I started spending more time with God and every day I wake up and God just, there's this peace and joy in my heart, like, where I just feel so thankful for my life and where I am in my life, for rain, for this baby, for my family, for, you know, everything God is blessing me with, like, and I just pray this feeling doesn't go away. Like I had this feeling years ago when I had a really close relationship with God. And it's now it's coming back because I asked God for it again. I was like, God, give me your peace. Give me your joy. Just just give me your joy. And there's things that could have thrown me off this morning that I wasn't expecting. But I shook it off and I made a choice because I was just watching Joyce Myers. I watch her sermons every morning. And it's a choice. You can choose to be happy. You can choose to be happy under pressure. You can choose to be happy when things go wrong. You can choose peace and I've been choosing peace and I've been feeling so peaceful and so grateful to the point where I could cry. Like, I'm so happy. It's so weird. It's so weird. But I'm so thankful for it and I pray to God that it doesn't go away. And I think it won't go away, especially once baby gets here. I'm just going to feel even more love and joy. So I'm sorry I'm out of breath, y'all. But anyway, I'll get on here a little later and I'll check back in. All right, bye.